of NFI Hammer. In this episode, I will be painting my very first Chaos miniature, a uh, World Eater Jackal. So unique to the World Eaters, Jackals are ferocious fighters that uh, sort of resemble a pack of wild dogs. Um, they all have this uh, tank on their back designed by Butcher Surgeons that they can use to get some bonus uh, damage. So to paint this model, what I ended up using was using Storm Vermin fur for the pants. I used Abaddon Black for um, the, the iris and the eye, as well as the boots. I used Bugman's um, Glow, I think that is, for like the leather, and Rhinox Hide for like a darker, stronger leather. I used good old trusty Lead Belcher for the weapons, as well as Rimlord Brass for like the tank on the back. Um, and then I did Corax White only for the eyes. Um, I only need a little dash of that. And then I bought this new uh, Flesh Shade um, as well as Nuln Oil for the weapon. Uh, so I also bought this new um, paint. I just saw it in my local post office. So I picked this up because I couldn't really find any flesh colored that I was happy with. And Artemis here is uh, joining and wishing me luck on this journey. Um, apologies for taking a bit longer getting this video out. I was uh, distracted by the Diablo uh, beta over the weekend. Oh, the sprue thing went flying and um, Artemis was uh, trying to help out. I've got to be careful that he doesn't swallow these because I don't want to end up uh, having to take him to the vet, which would not be much fun. So yeah, this was, I mentioned before briefly, but this is um, the free model of the month. A few of the subscribers have commented below and asked, how does that work? So I've been talking to the Games Workshop employee. Um, he's a really cool, friendly guy for a while. And um, yeah, I just asked him how did the model of the month work? And he's just handed me this sprue and a base and said, yeah, here you go. Um, good luck. So yeah, it's really easy to do. Recommend it if you've got a store nearby. I found this guy was quite easy to assemble. Um, all the parts were quite obvious where to go and there wasn't really any gotchas. Um, so yeah, I definitely found it um, pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm just using um, the gray spray paint. And I'm using gray because there's not really much black on the model. So I don't really want to use um, black spray paint because it's quite dark. And I find it's really hard to make the colors bright. I'm trying out this, uh, you know, pale flesh color. I haven't really seen this brand before. So let me know in the comments below if it's a good brand or it's a bad brand. Um, or if anyone knows anything about it. Um, so I did it first because I really wanted to know if it was um, the right color. And it sort of looks okay. I've realized I've been doing a really bad habit, which is I'm avoiding painting things that I don't want to. Oh yeah, his arm fell off here. So I had to um, fix that, do a bit of surgery on him. But yeah, I've noticed like I'm being doing, when I'm painting the flesh color, I'm not painting say like the leather straps. Um, because I don't want to waste any paint or put an undercoat over it unnecessarily. But what I'm noticing is there's gaps in my paintwork and then it's really awkward. So I think I should really just apply the color everywhere. Um, and then that way there's no gaps, um, accidental gaps. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let me know in the comments um, what I'm doing wrong or how to improve. Um, yeah, so this is just the lead belcher on the weapon. So pretty straightforward. Um, I put it on the kind of um, the hilt of the sword, like the bottom part, and I realized that like probably copper is a better color. And I also forget to do the chains and his um, cufflinks, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'll come back later and try and touch that up. So this is the um, Rhinox hide that I bought for my Jade Cultus, which was the February model of the month. Um, so I used that to paint the bow. Um, you can see Artemis's tail here as well. And so I quite like this color though. It's very dark, um, but I'm using it to paint kind of the axe handle and his, um, it's just having a bit of a sniff there, uh, axe handle and, uh, his leather belt, just kind of 
areas where I think that, um, you know, the leather would be quite tough. And yeah, I'm just kind of touching it up here. It was kind of difficult because the belt sticks out from his stomach. And so I'm trying to get the paint on the top of the belt, but not on its stomach. So now I'm doing some Abaddon Black. So here I'm just going to be painting his um, kind of boots. He has like this extra thick kind of strap. Um, so I'm just trying to delicately paint it because I was originally going to leave his pants this gray color uh, because I thought, you know, it's a gray colored pants. It's the prime color. Like there's no point painting over it. Um, with another color when it's kind of already very similar to the color I was after. Uh, you'll see later in the video that I really messed that up pretty badly. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for, for my big mistake. Um, but yeah, just kind of coloring it in and trying to, you know, get all the parts. Then yeah, this Bugman's Glow, um, this was for kind of, he's got some sections around uh, pockets, um, little, you know, things that he carries on uh, his backpack and stuff like that. So I just was just trying to color these in. And you can see I'm trying to be very delicate to not get any on the, the gray unnecessarily, but I kind of end up getting some on. So now I've got the brass out. So these are the colors I'm very familiar with, with the Necrons. Um, so I just painting kind of parts of his uh, canisters on his backpack, um, as well as the hilts of the swords. And I'm painting some of the details. I'm, I'm getting more comfortable moving the brush around and getting paint where I want it. Um, he's also got these tubes that go into his body that I didn't really notice when I was um, painting the skin. And he's got these kind of um, stomach marks as well. So this is, um, I didn't bother showing this, but this is the color that I paint the skull that he's got hanging on his belt. Um, I'm just showing um, some of the extra detail that I've added to it. Um, yeah, so he's got this, this skull, which is pretty cool, pretty badass. Um, so I'm just using the uh, this flesh color here. But if you don't have it, um, I think Corax White will probably be just as good. Um, but yeah, I just happen to have it and I think it kind of gives a good bone kind of color. So I'm just trying to paint it, but it's very difficult to get the paintbrush in there. Um, then I'm back on to Lead Belcher because I mentioned before, I completely forgot that these chains and his cuffs, um, would look better silver. Um, so I'm just going back and trying to fix up those mistakes and I've made. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying painting this model. I've never done really a human and stuff before. Um, the only one was that Jade Cultist, but he didn't really have much exposed flesh. So this is the first time that I'm doing eyes. So I'm really not sure how to do them. Um, so I've just got like my, one of my small brushes. It's actually the starter brush that comes with the starter paint set. And it's just got a little bit of Corax white, and I'm just trying to put them the white into the eye sockets just to kind of make them a bit brighter. So in my, this is one of my big mistakes. I'm using Storm Vermin fur, and I thought I was just going to touch up a couple of mistakes on his pants with this color. And the minute I put the, uh, the paintbrush on, I realized that the color is completely a different color from my primer spray like this is a very different color and so i'm like i'm gonna have to paint the whole pants now like there's no way out of here and i'm using my cheapest two dollar kmart brush and i don't know why i didn't switch to a better brush but i just kept going and so i'm just trying to just correct my mistake so you can see now he's got different colored pants on that was a complete accident so Nuln Oil, this is my big second accident. So I put the Nuln Oil on his body because he's got all these ripped abs and muscles and I thought it would be really cool to like ac accentuate those. Um, but yeah, completely stuffed up. Um, the darkness of the Nuln Oil just made his skin look like ash and very grey coloured. 
talk all like the life and heat and like yeah anger and blood out of his skin and just turned him into this weird grayness that you can see here so i ruined the pants i ruined the skin um so i moved on to the basing because that's something i felt like i couldn't stuff up at this point so i've just put some pva glue on the base dip it into my very expensive sand um, that you can see in my six week check-in video um just trying to get all the edges I'm also got some grass that I bought accidentally, I bought static grass, even though I don't have a static grass applicator. Um, oh, here I'm just kind of applying a very thin watered down coat of PVA glue, because otherwise the sand kind of um, just keeps falling off, so that kind of helps solidifies it. Yeah, so this is the static grass that I bought without buying a static grass applicator, so I've been trying to experiment with different ways of um, putting it on. So with my Jade Cultist, which was my February um, video, I've, uh, I found out this trick from the Games Workshop store that you can kind of tip it upside down like this, and the grass will naturally kind of fall, you know, towards the earth with gravity, um, and it kind of helps it um, sit upright. So I'm trying this trick again just to kind of give the base a bit more of a interesting look rather than just having the sand by itself. So I, I, at this point I realized that I'd completely stuffed up the flesh of this guy's body, so I'm just painting over it again, um, trying to correct my mistake. I thought I was debating for a long time whether or not I could live with it, but I was just kind of not what I wanted, and I was kind of embarrassed by it. Um, so I just thought I'll try um, having a clean slate and yeah, resetting the model back to before. But you can still see there's kind of like a undercoat of darkness that I couldn't really ever shake, which wasn't what I really wanted. Um, so here I'm also trying to put like the pupil in the eye. Um, so I've just got a toothbrush here and a bit of black paint. I don't know if there's a better way of applying it because all my brushes felt like it was too big. Um, so I'm really just using the tip of this toothbrush just to put like the tiniest dab um, but if anyone has any suggestions like it's very appreciated um, not really sure what to do here it's kind of hard to see um, and it kind of <laughs> looks like he has weird eyes but um, yeah it sort of works so I just kind of went with it so someone else as well one of my kind subscribers um, suggested to put a wash on the sand which is something I never really thought of before. So I'm using Agrax Earthshade here just to um, kind of darken some of the, the edges, like the, the recesses. So this is a new thing I bought. It's Reichland Flesh Shade. So I spoke to the Warhammer store guy and he recommended putting this on. Um, so I gave it a crack because yeah, I did such a bad job with the Nuln Oil, but I watered this down about 50% just because I was so nervous about messing it all up again. I didn't really want to have to do a, a third coat. So the effect is kind of subtle. Um, it's definitely not very loud, but it does kind of help um, give some definition to the model. And I think, you know, the redness of this also um, kind of gives a bit of like vein, blood, anger, crazy person vibe, which is what I was going for. And then I felt like it's not really like a chaos um, miniature if there's no red. So the only thing I could think of was the rim. Um, so this is completely optional, obviously. I just kind of wanted to put some red onto the model. So yeah, this was my model of the month. I made <laughs> quite a few mistakes along the way, but I was kind of happy with how it turned out. Um, you know, it's about 12 weeks now of doing this um, miniature painting. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it and all the comments and subscribers are making you know such a big difference and giving me the courage to try different things and experiment with different techniques um yeah so i hope that you enjoyed watching my journey even <laughs> though there was plenty of fails along the way and yeah i'll see you next week thanks for watching